We have an old Dell laptop with an overheating problem. The computer is keep shutting down because of the overheating. As you see, the processor temperature is reaching almost 100 degrees Celsius at idle. Yep, when I'm doing nothing, it's reaching 100 degrees. It is an insane temperature for an idle. When I watch a video on YouTube, it exceeds 100 degrees Celsius. And we know we have to do something to fix this overheating problem. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, this is the overheating Dell Inspiron N5010. I'll show you how to disassemble this laptop while we are doing this to apply a new thermal compound and to do a, a dust cleanup inside. Remove the battery. Like that. And then we gotta remove all the visible screws. I'll start from the middle. And remove this one to uh, remove this DVD drive. Removed. And in the bottom, there are one, two, three, four hidden screws. You need to take off this uh, rubber piece and then there's a screw underneath it. Alright, sorry, there are two more rubber pieces for this one. It was already missing when I was removing the screw from there. But there's one right here. So, you gotta take the rubber piece off first. Then you'll be able to take off the screw from that point. All the screws have been removed, then we gotta flip over. It's now time for us to remove the keyboard. You can use a plastic prying tool, something sharp like this. Okay, just release the tab from the upper section of the keyboard, just like me, and then you'll be able to take up the keyboard easily. Right there, disconnect the cable too. Keyboard off. Okay, now more screws. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have to remove these cables because we're gonna take up the motherboard too. Okay, disconnect all the cables. Take off all the screws. We're actually separating this upper section from the bottom section. We're lifting up this upper case. We have a hard drive with a cooling fan, motherboard, Wi-Fi card, and the memory is on the other side. All right, now we have to disconnect all the cables to remove this motherboard from the laptop. Then I have to remove all the screws. I see one, two, uh, I see two screws. And there's no more. And remove this small, uh, I don't know what this is exactly, but uh, remove this one too. It was right there. Okay, I'll remove these screws. And we need to remove the hard drive. Okay, slightly lift up the end of the hard drive and then slide it out towards this way just like that there is a plastic lock right there we have to release it we have to push it this way and then at the same time we gotta remove this motherboard just like this okay it's loose the board is loose okay disconnect the connector underneath this big motherboard from the uh, little one and then, if you wiggle it nicely, you can let me uh, let me take it off, and then we can take off the motherboard. On the other side, there's a heat sink, memories, and the cooling fan. We're gonna apply a new thermal compound here and here after we removing this uh, heat giant heat sink. 
Okay. All right, let me remove this heat sink. Okay, all loose, and then I'll disconnect the fan connector. And then, oh, here, one more, right there. Yeah, uh, the heatsink is now free from the motherboard. As I expected, the thermal compound between the heatsink and the processor is completely dried out. That's why this thing is overheating. So we'll remove this uh, dried out thermal compound and then I'll apply uh, a high performance thermal grease uh, to here. It's very easy to clean up because it's already so dried Easy to peel off. Uh, gotta say, every five to seven years, you need to apply new thermal compound. But it's not always has to be five years, seven years. Uh, it depends on what you do on your computer. If you play games, and if you run applications that requires uh, higher power, processor power, it'll overheat your computer. So if your computer overheats often, that means uh, you gotta replace this thermal, thermal grease every like two years, one year, three years, maybe. But it all depends. Okay, now I'll apply Arctic Silver 5 uh, on here, uh, not on this one because we already have um, uh, this one right there. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, now I'll reinstall the heatsink uh, on here. Now I'll reassemble everything and then let's see how cool this computer runs. All right, we just finished up replacing the thermal compound and we did a dust cleanup from the fan look at the difference night and day before at idle the temperature was reaching 90 to 100 degrees at idle look at it now it's now reaching 60 degrees at idle 40 degrees cooler after we clean up the dust from the cooling fan and after we replace the existing dried out thermal compound look at the result I really love the result and if you have the same problem, uh, try to clean up the dust from the fan and then try to replace the dried out thermal compound. Okay, if you have any questions, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you.